Hey everybody, it's Tuesday! It's time for the Lo-Fi Podcast, baby! Woo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lo-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, Frank, and you're listening to the best podcast on the internet. Because it's got Caleb. Hey! And it's got Rick! Yeah! All the way from, from the moon! Right from Mars, straight to us live from Mars. Uh, that's right, it's Mars, not the yeah, moon, right? Mars, <laughs> it's Mars. Wow, is, I uh, said Mars before we started. Are, is speaking, uh, so you're on Mars right now. Are there, oh, yeah. are there, are there any? Hold on, hold on. Are there any chicken tendies on Mars? Is uh, is Elon Musk there, there with you? Are, unfortunately, there are no chicken tendies here on Mars. No, no it, chicken Musk tendies. Is, Muskie has not arrived, and uh, I believe that is scheduled for a couple of years from now. Are there a fair amount of diamond hands out there? Diamond hands, just just three, <laughs> just three, just three of them have made it so far. Just, just three. <laughs> All right, guys, we're still we're still trying to make our way to the Mars. Yep, yep. <laughs> if, uh, more on that later as we we get into our new segments. How, how the hell is everybody? Uh, good. Yeah, Caleb. Yes, sir. I am good as well. Yeah, that's good. That's good to hear, man. Well, okay, girl. There goes because an early bit. <laughs> Rick, do your do your do your Tuesday intro. It's do it. Tuesday. It's Ooh, fucking time Tuesday. for some lo-fi podcast, baby. All right, you were. I don't know why it cuts you off for a second. Do it one more time. Hey, everybody, it's Tuesday. It's time for the lo-fi podcast, baby. Woo! Dude, I'm just gonna open with that intro first. That there you go. That's how strong that is. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and uh, I guess uh, as we talk about Mars and and the Moon and Diamond Hands and stuff, I guess we should start getting into headlines. 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 So speaking of Mars, did y'all Ooh. see the Watchmen season finale? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, no, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, no, we're uh, talking about game stonks, game stonks, game stonks. GameStop. I don't know yeah. if you have stock in GameStop. Do y'all, do y'all have it? Uh, no, no. Yeah. I kind of, no. I kind of wish I did. If someone would have told me, yeah. uh, I would have joined in on that. <laughs> uh, I didn't know we were know? rallying. <laughs> I didn't I get know. the memo more or less what's going on or or should i give like an explanation yes. a simplified i, I sure. think uh yeah. definitely give an explainer yes. for what what's happening for the for the people who may okay be, uh, I'm not out of the in stonks, please okay so here's what here's what's going to happen i'll give you a really simple explanation yeah, good good so we're gonna start with, let's say frank has these captain america pops he has five of them mm-hmm. and All they're right. like at five they're at five dollars a piece yeah. i borrow them and give them to rick and he and I'm banking that Captain America will, you know, lose devalue, right? So I right. give it to Rick. It so goes down to two dollars. Huh? Uh, Rick's got a question. You're, you're saying gotcha that I, I'm taking these Captain Americas, but then you're, you're banking that they're going to not sell good. Like I'm not going to like these yeah. Captain Americas. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna you're gonna be like oh, I don't really like Captain America. He's lame, and so it's gonna devalue him. And I'm gonna buy them back for two dollars a piece so so two dollars right okay then i know it's gonna be a little confusing but we're gonna we'll get into it right so it's two dollars now so instead so now frank has to buy them back from me at the original price he had them at which was five dollars so i get a three dollar profit yes does that make sense more or less i know it's weird and confusing but more or less that's the idea so then (laughs) exactly (laughs) so (laughs) then Oh, so Frank has these Thor. I'm like, well, Captain America didn't do good, so Thor's not going to do good. I give it to Rick. But then people are like, oh, no, Thor's like the coolest. He's like got the dad bod now. So his price goes up to $10. And Damn, so now good. I have to buy them back from Rick for $10. And then since the original price was $5, I only pay Frank, or he only pays me $5. So I lose $5 in profit, right? Does that make sense? More or less, you're kind of getting it. So the thing is, these hedge funds, I'm like the hedge fund guy. 
I'm banking that GameStop is going to lose because it's all GameStop was losing money. It was already like going down the drain, right? Right. Because I mean, they, they, they were losing they're closing up everywhere, right? Like, I, yeah, they're closing got, stores. We got three GameStops and, that are already closed down in, in town here. So yeah. So, so now they're now so now they're, they're banking that it's losing billions. Yeah. So literally, these guys are gambling. They're like, GameStop's going to keep losing money, and when I get it back, it's going to be at the at a lesser value, and GameStop has to buy it from me for that price that they sold it to or i borrowed it from which was like you know whatever these are like millions and billions of dollars these are like you know five ten dollars uh right. so the problem was instead of gamestop going down it went up super high because everyone was like someone on reddit what happened was they're like hey let's buy a bunch of GameStop stock so everyone started buying GameStop stock and it went the value just kept increasing 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 so now instead of I, I gave it to you at like what five dollars now I have to pay like five hundred dollars for that one stock back because the value keeps going up and so when I sell it back to Frank or when he gets it back from me he's gonna only pay me again like only five dollars so I only got he's only gonna give me ten dollars whereas now I'm like four hundred nine four hundred ninety dollars in the hole you know what I'm saying because the stock price went up so high and now I'm screwed because I thought I was going to lose money. So it's like, it's like a little rubber band effect then? Yeah. B basically, Rick, it's like uh, they're, uh, it's like Caleb was saying, they're they're expecting for the price to go down on, on the, these stocks, for example. Yeah, I and guess so. Right. So what happened is because everyone started, started buying up the stock because it was basically borrowed money, they're going to have to pay these stocks back at yeah. what they hoped was a lower value. But because everyone and Wall Street bets and Reddit started buying up all the stock, well, that shot the price of it up. That means that when these guys who were hoping to bank on it being at a lower price are now going to have to pay back the what they shorted, what they borrowed on them. Uh, now that that's how the profit is being made by uh, everyone on Reddit and, and Wall Street bets because the price of the stock shot up and it didn't go down. And so that's that's well, I think they it was like billions, billions of dollars so, that they lost. So the, they're the gonna main lose like billions. That's doing this is is Robinhood, correct? Uh, well, yeah, no, so you I mean, can buy it on Robinhood and a couple of other apps, I think. You, you but yeah, Robinhood's the most common one. Yeah, okay. So, so this is what happened. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people are able to do uh trading through Robinhood and stuff. The mm. I think the problems for Robinhood started when they stopped trading. Um, they halted trading. Um, I yeah. think they said because they didn't have the funds, or what was it, Caleb? Well, no. So it was a couple of days later, and everyone mm -hmm. safely assumes that you know Robinhood's kind of in cahoots with those hedge funds, and they're like mm -hmm. tell people to stop buying it. So they you couldn't no longer buy it from GameStop, AMC, uh, BlackBerry, and I think a couple other things where it's Nokia. like oh you can't buy these stocks anymore. Yeah, you can't buy these stocks anymore because people were hitting those stocks and they kept raising and raising. And everyone's like, why? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And they started to file a lawsuit against Robinhood because mm -hmm. they're like, that's this is a free market. Anyone can buy these stocks. But now you're saying I can't buy them. So everyone safely assumes that somebody that, that Robinhood's in cahoots with like, you know, other billionaires are like, no, tell people to stop buying them because we keep losing money the more people buy it. Uh, but then Robinhood's like, okay, fine, because they're going to get in trouble. So they open it up again and people are buying again. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty intense, and uh, yeah, these people, these hedge fund people, these already billionaires are gonna start losing lots, millions, if not billions of dollars. Because yeah, I think, <laughs> how does this affect our economy going forward? Uh, it kind of doesn't. It just mostly affected the book at Melvin Capital, and well, uh, if Andrew you're getting left. buyouts, then that's our taxes, is it not? Uh, I don't know the buyouts are coming from our taxes i don't well yeah they're getting buyouts from the government and the government takes the only way the government gets money is from our fucking taxes so they're taking that shit mm -hmm. and 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 they're buying out these hedge fund dudes that are that are now crying mm -hmm. and that's our money that part is beyond me i don't i don't know where that money's coming from or how the buyouts work um yeah, I, so I know. I, I know those those people, those Wall Street people want now. They want more regulations in the Wall Street area. Like, oh, we need to regulate it. We need to make sure this doesn't happen again. It's like, dude, it's just because you gamble and you're losing money. 
that's the only reason. But any other time, you'd be fine with it. He's already billionaires. Yeah, it's, he's already yeah. like you know Leonardo DiCaprio's. <laughs> you know. Rich man's king, man. The, yeah. the, the the people of uh, of Wall Street bets, man. Uh, I was uh, I was being told by uh, someone who owns a lot of GameStop stock, someone I know personally, uh, who sank uh, a lot of his own money into it. Um, you know, was was definitely following the forums and stuff like that, and just kind of like the the hardcore, like undying uh, loyalty behind the idea of sticking it to the rich and stuff like that. Uh, I actually kind of admire actually I, th I think is crazy all these like they're strangers strangers on the internet are banding together essentially against uh, yeah like financial corporations like Melvin Capital for example and I think that's uh, an amazing an amazing feat man yeah as far as I'm concerned only bed, like yeah. rich people are getting affected so like the yeah. super rich people are getting affected by this so it's like okay <laughs> You know, I don't, I kind of don't care more or less. I mean, that and sounds kind of messed up, but yeah. you know, I mean, we're, we're still in it too. Right. Uh, uh yeah, they, they're closed over the weekend. So they're, I think trading is back open again. <coughs> Monday and everything. I haven't kept up with, uh, what's been happening, uh, today or anything like that, but, uh, the stock price, it, it kind of fluctuated a little bit. It's still kind of up there, even though they've still kind of lost some due to the, stop in trades but it could dude it could have been higher and i think that's why they're forming that lawsuit um mm -hmm. is because they halted trade it's, it should be free trade and they halted trading and that pissed off a lot of people it's bullshit dude yeah no for sure yeah yeah but and that's, that's way, the other thing still, is too those hedge funds are still bleeding from all of this money they're having to pay back it's crazy dude it's crazy i know but we should have been able to fuck them harder yeah it's a fantastic yeah. story though uh i think it's uh like you don't see that kind of stuff happen every day this was definitely something that was like in the works uh, let's say in the last two years especially um the guy who especially was kind of heading up a lot of this uh fervor was uh, his name was uh deep effing value and not effing but he uh, he was definitely one of those where he's sunk like fifty thousand shares um, and he's been like holding on to it. He's been buying up more and more. Um, and so if, you know, he's kind of been like the, the Messiah, like the leader of, uh, you know, for everyone, like this figure of like, of hope essentially. And everyone's just kind of on edge waiting to, you know, hear his word and, and, and do That's his bidding scary. and everything. It's dude, it's nuts, man. It really is. Um, That's scary, but, I, but I think it's fantastic. I think it's fantastic. Um, yeah, I mean, just kind of give a perspective. I mean, back in August, it was four, almost five dollars GameStop stock, and then I think in January fourth, like kind of when this all started, more or less, yeah, uh, it was at like seventeen dollars, mm -hmm. and now it's at two hundred and forty dollars per stock. <laughs> Damn, it's definitely gone up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I saw it at three something, so it's, it's yeah, it's been it's been down. at three hundred, but yeah, it's gone down a little bit, but. Yeah, kind of like Frank was saying, it's just like, you know, the stopping of it and all that kind of crazy stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so that that is a that is a crazy story. It's taken the, it almost has nothing to do with video games other than the fact that it was just GameStop that was involved. But, yeah. Yeah. But I, I the, the memes that are coming out of it are, are great, especially everyone, you know, like the response being like, I just love the stock or I love the, you know, I love video games. And, and that's not why they're doing it, but that's uh, seeing that stuff has been <laughs> hilarious, man. <laughs> definitely to say the least yeah, for sure <laughs> um let's go into some sadder news before we move on to other stuff okay um well well i had one thing to add oh, I sure heard go up. ahead go ahead a, i heard they're making a documentary on it on netflix oh, oh. yes correct <laughs> so right. that just that just happened where they're gonna start making a movie on netflix so obviously netflix bought it or whatever mm -hmm. and they're gonna make a movie out of it so of course <laughs> <laughs> I thought we would get one, but I didn't think we'd get this soon. I mean, I'm I'm sure I'll watch it. <laughs> yeah, that's so that's that's gonna be fun. <laughs> See if seeing from whatever perspective they're gonna take, man. I'm I I'm definitely gonna watch that when it comes out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, so moving on to some sad news, real quick. Uh, actor star of Saved by the Bell, uh, Dustin Diamond, also known as Screech, uh, died. Screech Powers. just just now. Yeah, uh, that's just that's died crazy. at age 44. 
Now, I have never seen Saved by the Bell because I didn't wow. care. But uh, you guys take over. You've never seen Saved by the Bell, Caleb? I've seen episodes, but I was like, eh, whatever. I didn't care for it. It was Classic. before your time, maybe. Maybe. It was one of those where yes. you, you'd, you'd come home from school and it would kind of be on TV. It was right around that block, you know. I, um, I even uh, watched the, like, after years, like, the college years one. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Like all the way up to there, dude. I mean, it was it was all right. Yeah, you like literally saw these kids grow up when they were on on the show, man. Like they, they, you literally they, like you'll see the first episodes and they're like kids, and then you go to whatever like the high school ones are, and I mean they're just so different, you know. I mean they really grew up on TV and stuff like that. Um, so you know, I think I, I think being on TV so young kind of has a you know a high chance of like uh, messing you up and everything, and so. Uh, I think uh, Dustin Diamond went down a dark path <laughs> where maybe being a, a joker or a fool on TV also kind of followed him around in real life and, you know, maybe uh, had to make some bad decisions, like, you know, what with that sex tape going around and, and Was stuff that thing like that. ever confirmed to be real? Was that I think, real? I think wasn't it was there, real. Wasn't there rumors that he used a stunt cock and that it was just like, he did the intro to it, but he stunt cocked it, and then it wasn't really his cock. I, I don't know. That's, that I, you know what? I could see that I, being a thing though. Like, but all right. If <laughs> if you got answers to this story, comment. Please comment <laughs> comment, <laughs> comment in the section below. We're we're Please. curious. Actually, I, I I would really like to know what ended up happening with that porno of his. <laughs> Oh God, yeah. So, yeah. Apparently, stage four cancer took him over and everything. And uh, I mean, I think he was doing fine. They just they they were doing a Saved by the Bell reboot actually with like young kids. But like you know, AC Slater's returning. So is Jesse. I forgot her real name. Um, I don't know about. Is Mr. Belding coming back? I don't know, dude. That'd be cool, but I think he's probably too old by now. I'm not sure. I mean, that would be the thing, right? He's just mm-hmm. an old as principal <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i don't know i don't uh I, I probably won't watch this reboot just i mean yeah no it, no you know it's not that's i don't know but, it's on peacock but, like but it's Sugar. cool that they're on peacock <laughs> yeah it's on peacock <laughs> it's uh, it's cool that they're doing it i guess maybe you know for a new generation of kids <laughs> the, the the best thing to come out of Saved by the Bell was Showgirls. <laughs> yeah. <Damn it. laughs> okay. okay. Well, was... speaking of Showgirls, <laughs> yay! The Snyder yes. Cut has an Give official release date. <laughs> oh, what? God, <laughs> let it die! <laughs> let it die! <laughs> It's not dying, oh. and it's coming March 18th. Who cares? <laughs> Who fucking the world cares. cares? Everyone cares. Everyone like, cares, man. Why does this movie need so many chances? <laughs> it's just, it's, it's because you know Zack Snyder was robbed, man. And he just needs his Snyder cut, man. He needs a Snyder cut. It's four <laughs> hour cut. Snyder cut my ass, dude. <laughs> This is going to be a four-hour cut, cut into several like little episode segments. No, so, he, he it, confirmed. He confirmed it's just one whole movie. It's not even. Oh, cut it is. Anymore. I thought they yeah. were still cutting it. No, they're yeah. confirming one whole yeah. movie. Sometime okay. last week, uh, he confirmed it's oh, okay. going to be an recent. entire four-hour movie. Yeah, it was super recent. Four-hour movie for <laughs> for. Uh, I mean, gonna have have... Why? Everyone's going to be in there. Why are Joker's we are going to be in there? there. What? Oh God. Yeah, he's gonna what? be in there. Which one? <laughs> Everyone has to, the Jared Leto one, obviously. No! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's gonna Why? have some screen time. I think Deathstroke is gonna have some screen time. Well, you know, that people cool. are coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. I mean, I don't know how much screen time, but I know yeah. they're gonna have something in there. Yeah. Is it? So, even, I mean, it just sounds like it's not even the same movie at this point. Like he's he's just getting a chance to redo it, and like, wasn't it just him rounding up the fucking Justice League? No. I didn't watch the movie, it's, so I don't. I don't. Unite know. the Seven, man. Remember that poster with Aquaman that said "Unite the Seven? And then there was no Dude. other character posters after that. The only Seven <laughs> is the motherfucking boys. All right. 
That's the only seven I get. I, I get hard for here. That's just fucking Justice League bullshit. I need to. I need the to, boys. I need to watch that last season. Shit, dude. You haven't so watched it? I didn't watch it. I forgot. It's so good. It's well, so lucky for good. you. Yeah, you can watch it all at once. I, I you have to just, wait week to week. Yeah, I just did finish watching some things, so I, I'll start hopping onto that. I can't believe I'm behind on that. I just I forgot. Messed up. Yeah, it's my bad. Boy, it's my other bad. than that, I mean, there's no other exciting mm-hmm. news. That's it for news. Oh, short. That's it for news. Short Whoa. news week. Short. I mean, God, we don't got. There's not a lot of news going. On. It's COVID. Man. Okay. We just content COVID. to to uh, cons- consume. Uh, actually, I could I could uh, spin something for news and then go into uh, what we've been watching and reading. Okay, spin stuff, it. Uh, because spin it's it. this is directly correlated. Um, so uh, the cast for the Netflix uh, version of Sandman was announced. Oh yeah, um, dude, yeah. And uh so I was looking at some of the actors. I don't know a lot of them, but some of them I do know, obviously. Um uh, Gwendolyn Christie is going to be coming out. Dude, best stormtrooper ever. <laughs> the best. I have so many of her figures cuz she was so useful in those movies. She did so much. I do don't even I, I you know never mind. <laughs> It's so uh, easy to go there. It's so easy. It's, to go there. It, it really is. It's just so much squandered potential with those, man. I swear to God. Anyway, uh, so Gwendolyn Christie is going to be in it. So is Charles Dance, who, as you know, is uh, the uh, father from Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Saved by the Bell. Yeah. No. Game of Thrones, bro. Yeah, but I forgot to say Game of Thrones. Tywin. Tywin. Tywin oh, yeah. Charles Dance, Tywin Lannister is going to come out in it. Uh, he's playing Roderick Burgess, uh, which is, uh, well, okay, I'll explain in a little bit. And then we got uh, Boyd Hallbrook is being played. Uh, he's playing the Corinthian, which uh, I know you guys haven't like read, read all of it and stuff. Um, Tom Sturridge is playing Dream, the actual character. Um, so I've actually been reading Sandman lately. Um, I've I've read it all and I listened to the fucking audio. Book. Damn, you you read it all? Yeah, I read Sandman the graphic novel and I listened fuck. to the fucking audio book with fucking McAvoy as yes. Dream. Oh he is fantastic. my god, he is fantastic. He's amazing. So what I'm actually doing is I'm doing both at the same time. So I'm listening to the audio book as I'm also reading the the graphic novel. That's that's the uh, way to do it. It's it's really good because that's the way to uh, do it. Yeah. It does take some some of its own uh, uh, cues, like it'll further explain certain context that I think you kind of need, man. Because Sandman came out what late '80s, early '90s, or something. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes the context it, it just isn't there for what's happening. You know, there's uh, for example, uh, there's a scene where he's in hell, and he's on his way to go uh, talk to Lucifer. And he talks to this uh, lady in a cage who he used to, um, I guess, like 10,000 years ago, uh, have as a lover. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Yes. And he just fucking. And she, yeah, he just. Fucking I'm not over it, bitch. Yeah, She's it's like 10,000 years. He's like, I'm I love you, bitch, you. but anyway, I ain't over it. So the audiobook so goes goes as far as to explain that his appearance changes for it, like what she sees him as. Uh, or perceives him to be that's what she sees him as so she doesn't see what he normally looks like which is this pale faced almost like the crow looking kind of character with the the long black trench coat um and she sees him it's just it's just pale tim burton yeah essentially right or robert smith or the cure (laughs) yeah yeah, or robert smith or a pale robert smith yes yeah yeah and then pale robert smith (laughs) <laughs> but like if you're reading the graphic novel it doesn't say any of that you just see from one frame to the next he's like you know uh african-american he's got like markings on him like they were like they knew each other uh you know from like a different continent or something like that and i i really really appreciate what the audiobook is doing in those because it, it does go the length to the describe production. certain stuff like that the so production is fantastic it is really 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 this good. is where i was like man i wish cat denning was cast as death again 
Like for this, cool. that would That'd be, be cool. fucking awesome. Like, yes, give me fucking Cat Dennings' as death. But I like Gw- Gwendolyn Christie as Lucifer. I think is great because it, in the comics, I mean, it almost looks almost like a David Bowie kind of. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, the, yeah. this super pale skin, kind of crazy hair, uh, kind of person. It almost looks like that's whatever maybe kind of took a so little bit I, of inspiration from. Have you finished it or not? No, no, I'm still reading oh. it right now. Um, I, I um, think I forgot what issue number I'm on. My my favorite fucking scene from that entire thing was when they're doing the one up I, I think you should have already passed it if you're if you're that far where where they're one up in each other oh yeah uh, yeah when they're doing that uh yeah. that fight um and then he's just like i am hope yeah <laughs> what you gonna do he's like what are you gonna do <laughs> my um, first my my first instinct was despair that 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 i thought hope. about that too i'm like well yeah you despair. you you could say something like despair maybe but uh, maybe in that moment, I don't know the, the dude. Yeah, just, I guess he didn't, didn't think, think about of it. it he was he, just, he was just like, I'm fucked. I, I thought, I thought when he was like, I am the universe, I am ever expanding. I'm like, how do you, how, how do you combat the universe? He just talks about being like the darkness and everything as part of it. I was like, I am hope. <laughs> it was, sends a good message. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I win. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh, I guess Sam and uh, just to kind of go over the first couple issues, Caleb, in case you ever get interested in it. Um, it's, so good, it's, dude. it's a really, really good story. Well, I, um, I'm interested. I just haven't yeah. gotten around to it. Okay. Uh, please well, listen I'll... to the audiobook while you read the graphic novel. It is it is, it is... so? It, it is really like. Immersive, man. It's really immersive. Yeah, very immersive. Mm-hmm. You immerse uh-huh. yourself in that shit really hard. It's yeah. great. Because you're getting both uh, just like a audio and visual experience, man. It's it's mm-hmm. fantastic. It's really, really good. Like the production from that audio book is really, really good. Um, yeah. It's on available on Audible and probably other stuff, I would imagine. Um, but the production on it is really, really good. The James McAvoy does a fantastic job. Um, if you need the file, I have it. Yeah. Oh, really good yeah i got it i'll take you up on that yeah so uh so yeah we've i've been reading listening to some sandman man uh it's it's good so far i, I want to finish it but the cast reveal of it uh got me real excited about you know what uh Same. what a potential show could look like and stuff uh as for other stuff uh i guess we'll we'll get to the big one we've all probably been watching some uh wandavision is that right? WandaVision. Yeah. WandaVision. They should have come up. Did they have like a show tune for that? No, right? They had uh, they did. the they second did. and third episode. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, so, the second like, one had their little bewitched intro. Oh, and the third yeah, yeah. One had the yeah. 70s Arch- intro. Yeah, it had like a Brady Bunch uh, kind yeah. of intro to it a little bit. A little bit. The, the um, color one did, yeah. Yes. Well, episode three. Okay, so episode three now. Episode three uh, goes into episode color. Three very brady bunch uh kind of 70s mm. attire going on yeah. with it right uh pretty yeah. much uh wanda's mega pregnant uh progressing <laughs> super fast <laughs> yes. um yeah. vision seems super worried and scared he's like oh my god you're gonna you're gonna at this rate you're gonna have it sooner than later um what else happened in that episode she uh, starts giving birth or there's that there's that sequence where uh Gwen or God, what's her name? Um, she, it's the Gab- G. Is it Gabriella? No, it's like no. Gwendolyn, or it's like uh, about Rambo. G. Well, yeah, let's yeah. let's just say Monica Rambo's. Yeah, because we already know, right? Yeah, yeah. Monica, she goes in, and then there's like the stork walking around. She's like, oh, and she's trying to like play it off, whatever, like mm-hmm. trying to hide the stork and her belly at the same time. Yeah. Um, and then she starts to give birth. So that's really all the episode, really, uh, besides vision looking for the doctor or what whatnot mm-hmm. uh and then of, and then of and course in the ejects her at the end yeah yeah because then yeah, how, she, in that yeah, episode it doesn't show how but right, right. You, you just know she's gone or whatever so yeah, yeah dude episode three was just a huge like question mark at, at the mm-hmm. end there but then i feel like episode four really answered like what I predicted in episode three was everything I got from episode four. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that, that's yeah. what I was fucking thinking of. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Maybe not to that extent, right? Like, I didn't think she was turning the, the objects into, uh, oh, shit, spoiler warning, right? 
Yeah, I mean, you can't really talk about. I don't feel like you can talk about this show without spoiling it at this point. It's good to say at the top. There's a spoiler warning for this stuff. Uh, we are going to spoil WandaVision if you haven't seen it. Um, if you have not seen it and you want to skip this section, uh, I should have a link down in the show notes so you can kind of skip ahead. Yes. Go ahead, Rick. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't think she was changing the objects, but as soon as, like, they were showing the stuff, like, the guy was in that suit, I was like, oh, shit, that dude's the beekeeper. Like, you know, like, that 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 helicopter thing that's going in there the that, drone. that's going to be yeah the drone's going to be the little helicopter thing that she's changing yeah you know? yeah. Um, so, yeah she's making it more to that time period which is like oh that's interesting yeah I, I that was uh, yeah cool. so, so then, yeah okay. episode four is cool oh go ahead i'm oh, sorry i was going to talk about the, the the reappearance when they're when they're redusting in because that's kind of how it opens up yeah right? yeah that's kind of where i was going so, to yeah right so, after the blip as they call it yeah, so they're getting re-blipped in and shit, and everyone's uh, coming back at, at, I guess, the last place they were be- when they got dusted, I believe so. Right? Yeah, it was whenever, yeah. wherever they last were. So she was in the hospital there with her mom. So, uh, I thought that was fucking cool, because we get, we, we get some now lore from, like, what happened. Because in Spider-Man Homecoming, we kind of get some of it, right? But we don't get... Yeah, like, they play it as, like, it. a joke. Yeah, because yeah, they're like in the gym and then they like run into band people just reappear in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you know, this we get a lot more of it. We get a lot more lore of that. So that, yeah. I really appreciated that fucking piece. It's pretty great. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, a, a crazy thing you don't think about either, right? Because you, you think like, oh, people reappear. They were playing basketball or whatever. But you didn't think like, oh, this, this girl was waiting in a hospital bed like for her mom who was sick, passing away and stuff. And then to basically be blipped back after she's already passed like dude that's heavy you know i was like damn yeah, like that sucks nice. um uh so I, I thought that was an interesting take on uh, like basically just different stories being told from from that same blip you know yeah. um so i thought mm-hmm. that was really really cool that they kind of uh took you through that a little bit uh so then soon after that um you know they kind of they take her back so that she can kind of be reinstated into um sword now right uh, it was kind of like yeah. still a new, new yeah. regime so let's talk about sword a little bit so sword is supposed to be um so shield is dealing with all threats homeland security stuff, yes terrestrial Ooh. within within earth and sword is supposed to be handling the threats that are outside of Earth. like yeah like the galactic yeah uh, yeah, like all the cosmic threats and stuff. All the cosmic threats and shit. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So the the fact that they're interested in Wanda is like, I mean, she's still basically an Infinity Stone, right? Uh, Wanda. Yes. Well, uh, well, you mean like she's like the Reality Stone, sort of? Like yes. she has the powers of no, uh, like a Reality Stone. No. Well, okay, hold on, because she was affected by the Tesseract, the blue one. The blue cube. Right, but she wow. her powers are basically the same as the reality stone where she changes reality. Is it not? I like assumed made, her... she's a fake infinity stone as a person, right? Because she's not a mutant and neither was fucking Quicksilver. Because mm-hmm. even in the commercials, uh that's one thing y'all didn't really talk about in the other episode too, was with the commercials in between the episodes. Oh, we had right. some I, for I Stark. Talk about those. We had some for Stark. And then we had some for for Von Strucker. For yeah, right. Yes. So Von Strucker is the dude who put them in cages and created them, right? Yes. Using the Tesseract to do like that. Like he was like he was like testing on them or something, right? Is that what yeah. was happening? Yeah, he created them, and that's because I mean Disney or, or whoever owned uh, Marvel didn't have the rights to the word mutant, and they couldn't yeah, they say not. mutant. But yes, now we do. But then Strucker is the one who made them. So like that also furthered this whole Wanda is making this thing all together because mm-hmm. she's there with the commercials to Stark and Strucker, you know, and the Hydra stuff connection because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. she was part of both. Oh, true. I guess I didn't think about that. So because she was a part of both, like maybe those commercials are kind of. I, I don't want to like would we say subconscious or because obviously the I fact mean, that it's playing she, out like a TV show hasn't necessarily been explained right. why well, a she, TV show right yeah because we still have questions like about that which is cool uh-huh. 
Yeah, like she's emitting this and it can be picked up by like old school fucking TVs like with antennas and shit. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh I so the the commercial for episode 4 was literally called Hydra Soak. Uh so it, it was well or it was three. the star yeah, Hydra Soak. I I caught that too. Yeah. Um and I, I think those commercials are are neat. I think that it's really really like it's cool that they're throwing them in there because it feels authentic like the way it you know used to be back then or whatever so i thought that's been a nice touch uh in the meantime um mm. but okay so rick your your question about sword was going to be what specifically uh their interest in wanda right it's yeah. it's it's leading what so more like so with the whole infinity stones and everything like the reality stone was one of the ones that uh i think it was the like dark elves in, in Thor, the second yeah. Thor movie or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. Then, so, like, what is their interest in Wanda, right? Like, since I, I, well, she would be I handling think... this, why is Sword handling this? Because FBI is on this, local authorities are on this. Why is Sword on this and not Shield? Is it because or... Shield's just gone, right? Because of it, the whole after the Hydra stuff. It could be. It could be that maybe yeah, Shield is being rebuilt still or something like that. Whatever happened after uh, Endgame and stuff like that, maybe they're rebuilding. I mean, at this point, this could be the equivalent of what happened in comics, where like uh, Nick Fury went in hiding and stuff like that, and Shield was kind of going through restructuring. In the comics, at least, uh, Miranda Hill is the one who took over, uh, I believe, right. in, in his stead and stuff like that. So yeah, she, maybe she took over as as uh, director of Shield. Mm -hmm. So I think well, maybe go ahead, Caleb. No, I was gonna say also when she's talking to that guy, he mentions how oh you're like grounded or whatever, like you can't go up right yeah. now. You're grounded for like for for a little bit, mm -hmm. and so maybe they do like ground missions, like earthly missions that have to do with extra because it says weapons in their title. Maybe it's just like any kind of space so, weapons, and so that's why they're like oh let's check it out, see what's going on. And since I, she I, got sucked in, and like maybe became more of their problem when she went in the reality i guess yeah i think frank was on to something when he was saying that uh you know uh, nick fury basically leaves shield to then form sword and then is kind of taking over that like i could totally see nick fury now manning sword and then like after captain marvel and everything putting his main focus on that other than shield and then after hydra basically infiltrated that shit it's kind of like dismantled already and now mm -hmm. you know he's focusing on sword now yeah, because during this period in the comics is, you know, like after Secret Wars and stuff like that, uh, that that's kind of where like Nick Fury goes into hiding because he was for whatever reason, he was behind some shit or whatever. Um, and so I think the next like slew of like Marvel movies and stuff like that, he may be more of a character that's doing that's playing in the background, like in the shadows rather than directly and stuff like that. But I think in the meantime, while he's maybe, let's say, building sword uh or whatever the case may be shield is also going through restructuring itself after the whole captain america thing uh kind of blew their projects up um and so i think maybe sword right now being something that's newly formed and in this case they told her they've been what they they had been doing it for four years or i know she was gone for four years right but had sword five been, years five years i think sword was already a thing they were saying it uh it started as a missing persons right and the missing persons was wanda correct maybe uh, i didn't they clarify started, that because they were like this started as a missing oh okay well the agent it was his name agent Wu. Um, yeah he's like uh this started as a missing persons and we're we should start there and he puts up you know the pictures of wanda and vision oh true like saying that that this is where it started. It started off as the missing persons, and then after the missing persons, it became this whole. Now there's a whole bubble of fucking shit mm -hmm. in here, and and all, an entire fucking town was created that didn't exist, right? So so now we're talking what what are what are Wanda's power levels, and how far can she take it in the MCU versus you know comics? I will. Well, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take this. <clears throat> Okay, well, I, I have to respond to what you were going to say. So <laughs> I was going to say it too. Well, I was gonna gonna damn, I, I mean, I've been holding it up. Sorry. That's, that's all right. Go ahead. We'll, we'll wait till you get back to continue. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if I may talk 
as well. I I appreciate the bring. Oops, they're bringing back older characters like uh, the Cat Dennings character, the and and uh, Detective Wu, <laughs> yes. Jimmy Wu. I yes. forget his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was cool. They're like, oh, it's cool if they can bring back all these old, yeah, like third yeah. tier <laughs> people, and then just like, bring them, have them part of the show. And that's pretty cool. Because like, yeah, I didn't really care for her that much in Thor one too. But I was like, well, it's mm-hmm. pretty cool to see her back. Yeah, it's kind of like they they play side characters in those main movies, but here they they play more pivotal, more important characters, and uh, I think that's why I do enjoy shows like this that are able to kind of mm-hmm. uh, bring this larger uh, sense of like, hey, there's people and and wor- like worlds and stories, like it's all like connected, you know, and based on like like the Shield show, right? Like it's kind of like oh, yeah. you know, Shield is based off of the Marvel movies or whatever. But mm-hmm. I, I never saw the show, uh, but I, you know, I heard it was OK, OK. But um, the fact that you're able to kind of on this kind of ground level, like get a, a real sense of like how just how actual powerful some of these superheroes are just mm-hmm. solely based on the perspective of this small little manned, you know, government run shield team or, or whatever, you know, like the mm-hmm. threats they face. Uh, maybe medium in size, but to them it's a, it's a big deal because they don't have superheroes to to always help them or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and also so. saves on like casting too. It's like instead of trying to find someone for this role, it's like why don't we just use this person again? Like just yeah. bring them back. And so it's just yeah. like oh yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. fun for everyone. <laughs> dude, Shield's pretty good, dude. You should watch it. <laughs> uh, Rick, so to your point, um, you you know you were talking about Wanda's powers and stuff. So uh, that town, she didn't really manifest it. Like that town already existed. I, Did I think it? Yeah. Because yeah. the yeah. dudes were saying that they're that they didn't exist. That they're from East Town yeah. or East Side, and this is fucking West Town or West Side, whatever the fuck it is. West. Well, Hill. and that's we what the, the detective was was like. This is weird because everyone affected around the town don't don't think that that town exists. But behind them, the there's a sign that said Westview. Yeah, it's like right. clearly there. As the town's clearly she there. She had created the entire town, and then the people inside it are now affected. But that the cops and everything, it's almost like if that was a straight road, and then she built an entire town around that fucking road and called it Eastview or whatever, where the other nearest town is Westview or in Eastview, whatever the fuck. No, I think I think what happened was this town already existed and mm. she took it over. So she was able to control or manipulate uh, a lot of the minds of the people who live in Westview. So there's then how no, do the cops know? There, there's that, they don't. There's yes, that, oh, yeah. No, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the two cops that were saying it yeah, didn't exist. They're, they're, they're in there and they're trying to explain to Agent Wu, Special Agent Wu, that, um, that that town basically doesn't exist and it's not on a map. Yeah, they well, so was like how can you say that when it's right here, obviously in front of my eyes? And that's what they're saying is it's like we don't know what to tell you, buddy. This shit doesn't it, it's a missing town. Mm-hmm. No, I took it more as in like they just like they're oblivious to it. Like they don't even yeah. like they don't even acknowledge it as a town. Yeah, exactly. Like they're just because so I think he mentioned they have to go back into town and then get re-brainwashed and then when they leave town for work they get unbrainwashed no i don't uh, even no. think they're no, in I, there. I don't think they leave that town they stay in that town it's like a small town so so you know, how come the, the cops are the only ones that know that that place doesn't exist everyone inside well, that's what they're of that trying to bubble, figure out too everyone that is inside of that bubble are mm-hmm. are affected uh by by wanda and so anyone right. inside of the town is brainwashed. Anyone outside is not brainwashed. So that's why well, cops live in town or they live out of town. In town. No. So then how do they get unbrainwashed once they leave town? <laughs> that's what I'm right. saying. I think he said it. The, the the FBI agent said it like I don't know how we know that it's here, but they don't. So we're that I think they're theorizing that anyone like around it, like around the fake or around not the fake town, but around the bubble. Do, they don't acknowledge it or whatever. They don't. They're like, oh, I don't even know what that is. I know an Eastview, but I don't think those cops go in and out because I don't think Wanda would. Neither do I. Them. People are just would just allow it going. Out. I think. What was it? Episode three or four where they're like, no one leaves or or yeah. someone someone says something like like no one leaves. Like everyone mm-hmm. stays in that town because you're you're kind of brainwashed too. Um, and that's so, the thing when they started 
putting all the people like, oh, this person plays this person, this person plays this person. They were doing it from their yeah. license plate from that town. Your theory is that she took a existing town, changed the mm -hmm. name, and everyone inside it. Yes. Yes. Okay. My theory is she created that town on her own, out of nothing. Mm -hmm. And the um, people that are in there have been the ones who have eventually gone in there and are kind of stuck in there. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe they'll explain a little bit more as time goes on. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. That was the uh, that was the thing I picked up from it was that it was already an existing town, obviously, because it was already a sign built. But the people mm -hmm. there uh, know it as a different town name. They don't they don't know it as Westview. They knew it as Eastview. So that's what led me to believe like, oh, so this town was already here. She just kind of did the bubble so that no one leaves. She brainwashed people in the inside. And that's why they're unaware that it's even that it's even known as a different town. So that's why I think she didn't manifest that town. I think she just just brainwashed the the people who were in there, and then of of course puts that bubble so that no one from the outside can come in. And if they do, it's it's going to be related, or they're going to turn into something that makes sense to that little uh, world bubble that she created. I disagree. <laughs> God we will it. find out in the coming weeks. <laughs> we will. Um, God, is that all we're gonna talk about? Wandavision. I feel like we barely. I mean, I'm excited for it. I'm, this is a really cool show. I'm, I wish yeah, there were more. Yeah. I wish it was, you know, all at once. This is a show I wish it was all at once because I'm like, I just want to know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the week to week is pretty cool. You know, I guess it's cool. I mean, I you know, have to wait, but I like it. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, I know people are complaining about slow pace, but I liked the. Um, the just the oh, yeah. separate episodes you're like what's going on no for sure <laughs> i like uh, that I, so i definitely i definitely enjoy it do you all think it'll be more like interchanged on from here on lot like like the television and like the real people do you think it'll be more interchangeable or do you think it'll be like straight television show or straight real people I, I bet i bet we still get one or two more episodes of her doing her television show uh but at some point as we're seeing as they're trying to reach her and get in there at some point it's going to turn into like okay now now it's just present day stuff happening there's no more tv show segments because mm. they've maybe you know gotten to her or they penetrated the bubble or or something whoa whoa um, whoa hey, hey, hey. Whoa, what's what uh Ooh, so, so that's your prediction show, Frank? different show i think yeah i think we get one or, i think we get one or two more episodes of wandavision show style stuff before it's like okay now other stuff is happening because they've gotten to wanda or something like that i'm, I'm what about you, Caleb? What, what are your predictions? My for, prediction uh, is where it's the show gonna be, it's gonna go back and forth, and I think it's gonna be all Wanda. She doesn't want to let go of Vision, and um, and it's all her fault. And at the very end, uh, Dormammu is gonna come out. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> I'm just trying to, what is what is the overall? Because this is supposed to be tied to the new fucking um, Doctor Strange, correct? Doctor Strange. That's what we're yeah, because she's gonna appear in it, so it's so safe if, to if, assume it's if gonna be she's related. Connected, if this show is connected to the new Doctor Strange, then who's the new Doctor Strange baddie? Uh, is well, you know what? Probably either it's Wanda or the guy at the end of Doctor Strange. Uh, the what's his name? The black guy. <laughs> I forget his name. The one who was like part of it at the very end. He's like, I don't want to do this anymore. And at the post credit like scene, that, he like so I don't know what you mean. he like he like kills that guy with the bad back. He's like, too many wizards, and he like walks away. <laughs> <laughs> or he says, so, too many sorcerers. That's what he says. Uh, I forgot. So about it could that be guy. him. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Here's my question. Uh -huh. So okay. we we know that Marvel's going to somehow try to bring in mutants right into the mcu possibly possibly right? Right. How, how could they not they have the licenses for them so okay do you think wanda does the you know instead I mean, of no more mutants let's make yeah. mutants yeah right like because i that's what i'm thinking more maybe mutants. in the end maybe more <laughs> mutants <laughs> <laughs> is it is it at the end of this movie or you know what it could even be I, I could because I could see I, it being in the Doctor I could Strange see movie. That. I think it's it's too big a thing maybe for the show. Well, okay, but, yeah. so I mean, Strange is bringing in the whole fucking idea of a multiverse. Yes. Mm -hmm. So 
And with oh. the whole casting teasers that have been coming out, all the Spider-Mans are coming, all the Spider-Man villains, mm-hmm. all fucking, like, all these old fucking people are being re-brought up for this whole multiverse fucking movie. Like, like what... Do we get Doctor Doom? Can I say that I just hate that they told us every single person that's coming out in the new Spider-Man movie? Like, I wish I would have just seen oh, all yeah. in the trailer or in the movie. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, what? But no, we hear every single person that's coming, and I hate it. I don't want to yeah. see it well, It's too no big, surprise. dude. It's too big to hide. There's no way that they I can guess hide so. that all yeah. those assholes got rehired for that movie. It's, so like, the, the, the best thing to do is to get some. in front of it and be like, hey... We're advertising this instead That's of, you know, true. oh, it got leaked and we, that was supposed to be hush hush. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So I was going to say is, yeah, with the whole multiverse thing is, yeah, maybe it brings in mutants, fant four sticks, the fant four sticks. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Give me with a good vampires doom, with like, because Blade's coming. So maybe yeah. it brings in vampires. And, what? They're remaking uh, Blade? Uh, yeah, Blade's coming thing. out. Yeah, Blade. Yeah, it's a thing. Who, do they have? Coming out. Do they have a main actor yet? Who's going to yeah, request his Wesley? Name his name is, is Wesley Snipes. His name <laughs> is my Blade. Blanking <laughs> on me. It's uh um. Well, uh, okay. Guy... Hold on. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe Wesley Snipes is going to return You're as wrong. as as Blade. Also, like as no. part of this multiverse thing, has he not? Uh, that I read. I, I think that's incorrect because he's like, no, nah, he's like, he's like, there's only one blade, and that's me. <laughs> that sounds more like Wesley Snipes to me, man. <laughs> like <laughs> legit, he's just kind of like, uh, whatever. Uh, dang, what's his name? Freaking. It's, he was in. Um... Jeez, Louise. Oh yeah, no, he's not. Like, this is the I first not... article here. The real reason Wesley Snipes isn't returning as Blade. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. He's not coming uh, back. Jeez, why can't I find his name? Oh, Mahershala Ali. Uh, he was in. Um, oh, jeez, that one Netflix show with a strong black dude. What's it called? I don't not know. Jessica you, Jones, but you, the other you one. Tell me. Oh, Luke Cage. Luke Cage. He was the villain in Luke Cage. He won an Oscar a couple years ago. Ooh, was uh, he yeah, the Scorpion? Ali. Or not Scorpion. I mean the um, Diamondback. Uh, uh, no, his what was his name? Um, uh, I forgot. I don't know, but the cast for Luke Cage know. is pretty great. So if they casted this dude, then that sounds pretty cool. But yeah, in that, in that Marvel so, conflict though, you're casting the same guy um, as a different character. I think they eventually were like, yeah, it doesn't, maybe it's not the same universe. <laughs> I think that they just kind of like went more and more away from it. Cause I think in the first day that episode, they kind of mentioned like the Avengers attack, but then I think it just kind of like, nah, we're not the same. Kind of yeah. like an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It was kind of like, nah, we're not the same. Yeah. yeah eventually, they kind of wanted to. Nah, man, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is good, bro. <laughs> we I don't know, man. I saw his first two seasons. I, 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 like, eh. I heard. I heard. I still have the headphones. They're wireless. <laughs> <laughs> his shield is good, bro. Not bad. Better than most of the fucking trash rough. that's out there. I don't know. You you look at the first season of Jersey Shore, and I tell you, Agent of Shields is better than that shit. Is Agent know, of Shield man. better than uh, the CW uh, DC shows? Oh, that's hard, bro. Because like the Flash that... is really good. I like Flash. I like Arrow. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Yeah, like... I wouldn't say it's better. <sighs> I haven't seen Black Lightning, but I heard that one was kind of good. Uh, the only thing I don't like about CW is that they're like, you have to watch every other fucking show that we make in order to. Dude, that's why I stopped watching it. Entire you. fucking crazy arc that's happening, which is like comic like, books, which is great. But I'm like, I don't want to have to watch four seasons of Supergirl to find out what happened in my one episode. Or like, if you're watch watching it. Weird. As it's going, you have to watch like four hours a week of CW shows because <laughs> mm-hmm. they're all hour long episodes or whatever. Oh, so it's like, God. dude, I don't think I could suffer through. Hour yeah, long. if but there were 30 minutes, of that, of Arrow's shows. pretty good, bro. Arrow's pretty good and Flash is pretty good. Arrow first two, three seasons are great. Flash yeah. first two or three seasons yeah, are great. Arrow and does all... take a dip, but it comes back up. The <laughs> actors are good. 
<laughs> cast is great. Well, All right, you know well, what else is going to be good? What else is going to be good? Snyder, Snyder, take a, the Snyder Cut. That's going to be good. No! Unite the Seven, Why? baby. I, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to judge very harshly, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put my DC glasses I'm gonna be on. Be like, if like, you got this fucking second chance, motherfucker, that other people <laughs> don't get, you best fucking hit that home run, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, like the I pressure mean, on that true. fucking guy's shoulders right now. Yeah. Shit. I think I would have been happy with like a documentary of like what went, what went wrong, right? what happened. That would have been, been happy just, with that. that would be Give so me a much Netflix documentary of like what could have been, and then me wonder like, oh man, that would have been way cooler <laughs> in my own fucking <laughs> yeah. mind. Then actually yeah, seeing yeah. the piece of shit that Snyder's gonna fucking shit out. Yeah. yeah no. Agreed. I, I agreed. I think that sounds way more interesting to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> It's All like right, that well, Superman so... documentary with fucking Nick Cage, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I have yeah. that movie actually. Nice. I have it signed by John Schnepp, the director of it, when he made it. So, so yeah. we've all been, I... huh? we've all been watching. We're... Okay, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> yeah, Frank, we're talking. <laughs> yeah, Frank, let the man talk. Why do you have that? How did you get it? <laughs> uh. Well, John Schnepp came down to Comic-Con a couple of years ago and I met him. I shook his hand pre-COVID and I was like, hey, man. And then he signed my Slayer comics and my uh, the DVD that he made. The, what happened to Superman? Death of Superman. Sweet. That's it. That's the end of my story. Hey, you, what were you, you saying, Frank? Now, Frank. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was going to segment out of this shithole that we found ourselves in. <laughs> just stupid sh- not bullshit where I was it's like let's move on it's extremely interesting to me sir. <laughs> yeah it was interesting when I met John Schnepp who's no longer here wow insensitive yeah, yeah oh, Frank insensitive. Wow. pre-COVID by the way pre-COVID pre-COVID hashtag, hashtag that was a different can. world motherfucker <laughs> yeah um so uh, we've all also been watching uh, something else together. Um, I know, Rick, you're not entirely caught up, but we've also True. been watching the latest season of Attack on Titan. Yeah, with the exception of Rick, who is lagging behind. I'm on like episode 19, so I'm almost I'm almost there at the season finale of season three, and uh, okay. then I'll be entering season four, but damn is it getting fucking crazy bro oh bro it's 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 good it's like yeah. great so good there's there's some stuff that happens in season four that is just it, it oh, catapulted dude, I it for me i i know i liked attack on titan i mean but... dude it was great already dude oh yeah with, for sure you know the whole titans hiding in the wall spoilers uh titans hiding in the walls what? and shit like that like um <laughs> even that was just like a huge mind fuck at the time Mm-hmm. And like mm-hmm. you know, to see where it's going now, it's just like ah, the fucking beast <laughs> titan <laughs> talking and all that shit. <laughs> dude, fucking Captain Levy just fucking fucking shit up, dude. Yeah, just dude, he's so ripping yes, motherfuckers dude. to shreds. It was so fucking great, dude. So good, man. Oh good. my god. So was the speech doing the around the arm thing, dude. My the god. fucking speech that Erwin Ir- Ir- fucking Irwin? gives, man. I yeah. was just I, I, like, I was watching it with my daughter, and I told her, I was like. I'd fucking I'd follow that guy. I'd ride. <laughs> I'd ride and I'd fucking die, dude. I'd take those fucking rocks and die like a motherfucker. Dude, After that good, speech, dude. bro, I was like, holy shit, I'm down. <laughs> Sign me up, motherfucker. I'm down. <laughs> uh, I, I I would like definitely when when he was giving that speech, I'm like, you're knowing you like you're knowing you are going into your doom, basically, man. And for mm. that, like like for you to follow him into battle like that knowing what's coming and then you see that carnage afterwards of just Dude. the rocks and the the bodies flying and the blood i was like oh my oh, god like, Dude, what was i love that, that effect i love that effect where it was just you just saw blood smoke like you didn't yeah, the see blood the blood spray blood. like it a mist. Was, yeah, mist. Was like, yeah yeah that was crazy everything. that was crazy dude uh it's a wonderful wonderful anime one that I uh, oh, yeah. would now say is one of my uh, top five for sure. Oh, well, top depending on how time, they man. depending on how they end it, because I'm I'm really That's at true. a point where like hey, they could go any I mean, any I mean, which way they want to go right now. True. Uh, I can't but, talk. We can't talk about season four because it's so like. But I, what I will say is that no, ba- based don't. on based on what I have seen, I already would still call it top five, man. It's fantastic. It's really good. It's I. Really uh, good. 
though the only weird thing about season four is they have a different animation company this time around and so yeah it's a different animation company i don't know if you knew that because like the animation's um, different <laughs> i definitely noticed the animation was different i was like this this seems like movie quality anime what's up Rick? i'll be right back i'm gonna grab it out of the way keep going <laughs> So he's gonna go pee again. <laughs> he's gonna go pee. Um, I I didn't notice that. I did. I mean, I didn't. I guess I didn't realize they changed animation companies. Well, I found that out. I guess when I was looking at stuff, and like, yeah, they changed animation companies, which is weird. But only, yeah, so what happened? In only Pinky? for only for season four. It's only for season four, which is weird. It's our final season. I'm like, why would you change it? And also, yeah. well, I don't say. I'll say it later. But later, like yeah, when, when I don't, I don't you. Yeah, I guess so. Because I. Like, <laughs> Because he still has it on his head, right? He's just yeah, he wireless. Does. Yeah, I don't want to say it. Yeah, I'm going to spoil it for him right now. <laughs> uh, no, so what happened to me was because I knew it was going to end or season four was coming out in December. So yeah. um, I rewatched it from the beginning because remember I told you I fell off and I hadn't seen it since. Yeah. So I rewatched season one and hey, that's my kid. My oh, kid's being that... crazy. <laughs> He's coming out. I, he's coming out of his cage that I locked him in. This is <laughs> yeah. I uh, I rewatched season one and went straight into two and three, and I was like, wow. I don't know why I was confused. Maybe because I was such a long time I hadn't seen it. I was like, I'm confused. Yeah. Who's who yeah. again? I, I felt and so I yeah, think going there was straight... like a four year gap between season one and two, even or something like crazy. <laughs> what was it? Crazy that long? long time, bro. Yeah, I think it was long, bro. It was a long yeah, because I remember watching season two and I was like, I don't know anybody. I don't know what's going on. And so I just fell off. Uh, but then, yeah, rewatching it, I'm like, dude, everyone's the same. Nothing's different. It's just, I guess, right after another, it's it's fine to watch it. Yes. Um, but yeah, so uh, I loved season one, season two, season three, and season four is really good. And I just like, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. some other things I want to talk about that, yeah. you know, once Rick is caught up. It's only like seven Shut episodes your so far. Fucking mouth, bro. <laughs> uh, so I think it's only like seven episodes so far. Yeah, seven episodes so far. Uh, almost season, there, almost there. Season one premiered in 2013, season two in 2017. No Damn. way! Yeah, yeah, dude, it was a huge gap, dude. We waited a Very long fucking dude, time for it. That man. makes it, sense. That makes like the, sense. The, the, the hype for it died yeah. down. It I had so to long. rewatch season one when season two Dang. came out just to refresh my fucking memory. I still felt the mm. same about season three, even when season three. I mean, it had only been about what year or two, maybe. Same. But, uh, season three, I, I did the same thing. I almost, uh, yeah, I almost forgot the characters. Like, who are these people? Like, and actually, season three, I only watched halfway, and now I'm just continuing, and I'm remembering everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely yeah. this season, man, uh, definitely a must watch. Um, you you gotta you gotta get around to it. I think maybe when the season uh, ends, we'll we'll have a, a, a larger spoiler filled discussion about uh, everything. Speaking about must watch, uh, I've been watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, how is that? Dude, it is pretty fucking good. I, I'm really enjoying it. What's, the, uh, what's getting... the premise? Okay, so there is a guy who he, um, kind of like in Bleach or whatever, finds himself in a like a spirit battle. Uh, there's a, a, a dude who's like fighting this fucking like spirit demon or whatever. He can see it, which is not normal. And then um, in order to defeat this thing it, there was like a special grade cursed item and he uh he eats it because if you eat it then you gain its power and it was like a finger so he eats it and then becomes possessed by this demon um very naruto sense where he's now the vessel of this demon and he can control it like more than anyone else can so they kind of in induct him into this academy which is the jujutsu academy which exercises fucking demons and shit like that so he's kind of being taught now and he's like the first year you know and he's going to this school kind of thing which is to exercise demons but he is like housing a fucking crazy ass demon inside him and there's like uh since Tsukuna has 10 uh oh sorry 20 fingers because he has four hands yeah um he he has to like basically find and eat all those fingers oh shit. okay <laughs> yeah 
That's weird. Wow. Anime always <laughs> has you eating weird shit. Like even yeah. my hero has, you know, he had to eat All Might's hair. <laughs> yeah, dude, he had to eat the hair in order to gain his DNA to be all strong. Yeah, Same so shit weird. in this. He eats a cursed finger to become fucking strong. And then like the, the demon inside him is like, what the fuck? How can this guy just control me so easily? And this guy's like, yeah, no, I can just fucking shut you out whenever I want. So the yeah. more cursed fingers he's eating, the harder it is to control it. Yet the stronger he is, he's getting. Interesting. What uh, so what are you watching has, that on? I'm watching on uh, HBO Max, which uh, nice. has Crunchyroll. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So probably Crunchyroll. I, I would imagine that's maybe on Funimation too, probably. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. Are you watching a sub or dub? I am watching it uh, dub. Is the dub good? Yeah, the dub is fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm also things. watching Hunter x Hunter, oh. and I'm watching that dubbed, but I hear the sub is fucking great. Mm -hmm. And I saw a clip, and I was like, "Man, why the fuck am I watching dubbed?" And then it's like, oh, because I'm watching it with my son, and he doesn't uh -huh. want to fucking read, and he doesn't want to have to fucking care about the the you know the the Japanese voices or whatever. So I'm like, "Man, all right, we're watching fucking dubbed." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, no, that and okay, so Hunter starts off very wholesome. Yes, like, I, heard, I heard about that. Extremely wholesome, dude. Uh -huh. It is awesome. And you're just like, man, this is cool. Gone's a cool kid. He just wants to be a fucking like a, a young, happy kid. And then it turns and it just gets into this whole fucking like crazy shit about mafias and fucking death and just like questioning like why. Are you inflicting pain on people and just shit like that? It gets pretty deep, and I'm just like, damn, dude, like, it's it's pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I heard there's like that <laughs> dark, there's a like a dark turn, like a season yeah, four dude. or five or something, right? You're just like, oh, this kid wants to just be a hunter and take his hunter exam to see his dad. Yay! How and then it's how like uh, turns? How is the show before it gets to that turn? Though, is this is still. Is it so interesting? Is it still fun to watch? Like, it, yeah, like is no, it funny? De definitely. It's it's more of like you're watching like, you know, like uh, Pokemon or some shit. It's, mm -hmm. it's, he's wholesome. He's doing good. He wants to fucking do shit for, for whatever reasons. He's just a good fucking kid, you yeah. know? But then it's more of like the supporting characters around him start to get kind of like darker. His story gets a little darker too. And it's just like, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear, I hear uh, good things about it. Like, I, I, I think it's only seven, eight seasons long, or something like that. I think it's like six or seven. Yeah. Okay. All right. So not too, too long then. Right. Eh, sounds good. Maybe I'll check it out one of these days, man. I hear it's, uh, I hear it's pretty good. And I recently restarted watching um, Stored on Online. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I kind of had started like a rewatch of that the other day. Um, so good, man. I'm showing it to my wife and because she has never seen it. So my daughter and I are kind of like, you should watch this. And she used to play lineage back in the day. So she's getting that nostalgia too. Yeah. Go back to MMOs and stuff. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I want to play. I want to play lineage. Maybe we should play some lineage too. Some lineage too. We'll, we'll, do we'll it. Record it. Let's, let's we'll do get Caleb's Caleb in play. there. Do you think I could play it on? Healer. Be our healer. <laughs> do you think I could play it on my new PS5? Whoa! Caleb! <laughs> Give me your address. <laughs> dude. dude. Nice, dude. Oh my, that should have that nice. been, been in news. Should have brought that up front, bro. <laughs> Congrats, man. Dude, thanks. How is, thanks. How is that? How been? is it? How Speaking is of it? What, you, how, what you've been playing? How has that been? Well, so it's been fun. It's been cool. I've uh, been in a depression because I sold my PS4 about two months ago. <gasps> okay. Uh, assuming I would get the PS5 when it came out. And yeah. then all the craziness yeah, started cool. happening. Like, I haven't played anything <laughs> for like two months. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, dude. Uh, yeah, because I was, and at the time I was like, oh, I'll get ahead of the game because everyone wants to sell their PS4s. I'll get ahead of the game and just sell it, right? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I've been I've been having fun. I've been playing. I got the Spider-Man. Uh, that's pretty fun. Uh, 
and then I've been just messing. And okay, so I was afraid because they're like, oh, if you want to download everything from your PS4 to your PS5, you need to have it close by or whatever, and it downloads I, everything, you, whatever. That, so that was gonna be my, my number one question right now because you sold your PS4 before you got the PS5, and yeah, so what's correct. The process and like? I didn't know that was a thing until mm-hmm. like later. I was like, oh, that was dumb. Yeah. So then I was like, I guess I'm just gonna have to, you know, play with what I have. But since I signed into my account, they already everything that I bought uh online so there's a, i have a half the games i bought physically half the games i bought online i can just re-download them into the ps5 yeah so anything i bought online to the ps plus uh, store or anything i just uh, it's just there and you can just re-download it oh cool is nice. there like a, yeah. is it like a like a download history like a purchase history yeah it, well just... basically it's like it's just your library of everything you've downloaded Oh, okay. your whole ps4 so anything any physical copy any digital thing that you've ever downloaded i'm like i thought i deleted this file because i'm just like i didn't need those waste of space yeah. but it's just like it's your library of everything you've d- downloaded before and i can just re-download everything i was like sweet that's awesome Even i think with the like... ps4 mm-hmm. i think it was just maybe it was a faster process and it does everything at once because i have to do everything one at a time but everything's mm-hmm. saved everything's saved everything is still there so so like yeah, your, awesome. your cloud your cloud saves are also still there so you download a game and you can pick up right where you left off then essentially uh so i haven't tried that out yet okay. um because i downloaded i think it was rocket league first and all my mm-hmm. stuff was still there all my vehicles okay. and everything but, was yeah, still that there could maybe, yeah that could maybe still be the same thing then yeah it's i figured it'd a... be the same thing with like res because i wanted to uh re-download resident evil 2 because yeah. i wanted to like replay it again and uh, I think it, everything should be saved because oh man, I've been thinking about Resident Evil 2 so much. Like, Dude, such a I fun have game. too. Uh, just because they've been blowing out like all the uh, Resident Evil uh, Eight, right? Uh, Villages Eight. Uh, there's so much footage has been coming out of that, and especially, dude. So does that mean did you download the yeah. Maiden demo? Did, did what? You, did you download the Maiden demo? What? It's like no. A, it's like the free Resident Evil Maiden demo. Like, there's no, no combat. I so. Oh. I, okay, well, only PS5 owners can can download it, Caleb. So you can probably. Oh well, I'll look it out. I'll check it out. Check it out. Um, and I, I watched some some videos on that, but like, holy wow! Like the the stuff they're doing with the the lighting on that, even um, the ray tracing on that. Obviously, like there's like marble floors, and there's like that hint of like reflection. Uh, but like, I was in awe about the lighting in some of those areas. I was like, dude, like this looks this looks next gen like uh, the way i didn't feel like ps4 and I, uh, xbox I the, did i saw the texture on the boobies <laughs> oh you saw that one yeah <laughs> that's next gen bro <laughs> well, that's <laughs> next gen right there <laughs> I'll, i mean i'll i i uh i i did see that one uh but i was not as impressed as i was with that lighting man the, was uh, impressed <laughs> <laughs> There's there's some there's they're doing some cool stuff with that tech man that RE engine that they built for this for, or whatever uh, looks fantastic. Um, so as someone who owns a PS5 and has not downloaded the, the Maiden demo, Caleb, I, I think you should get right on that, sir. Yeah. What kind of, uh, me. Let me ask you, what kind of TV do you have? I have a Samsung. I forgot TV. From Costco, it's a 4K. Oh, I know that. Okay, not 5K, 4K. though. Right. No, no, it's um, not 5K. It's a pretty basic 4K TV, Samsung yeah. 55 inch. Because I'm, I'm, inch. I'm eyeing a, a certain Sony TV possibly for my purchase uh, for uh, next gen consoles. It's uh, it's 4K, native 120 hertz, uh, has HDMI 2.1s, four slots for them. But we like, need 5K now, dude. <laughs> It's gonna jump well, to 8K at some point, bro. Yeah, this this has it on the box. I think over over here like, it says 8K. I don't know if you can say Jesus. 8K. Damn. Holy shit. So I guess it has the Jesus. capability of oh my it. God, yeah, yeah. Does, you uh, need 8K does, does, then, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> does Why it are run you really fucking smooth? around? Does it look nice, Caleb? Yeah, is it looks there... great. It looks smooth. Like it's it's really sorry. It's because I got a phone call, so I'd be like, "No, you're good. You're good, bro." Cancel it. Yeah, you also. For uh, some yeah, reason, it looks great. It looks smooth. It's I love. Oh. Your video like was behind also. 
Oh, really? What What about now? Uh, it wasn't say something. Oh, uh, I'm talking now. It's close. It's closer and, now. It's closer yeah. to your mouth now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that what if I What if I talk well. like this? And you won't, you can't even tell. You can't, right? see, you can't see your mouth. <laughs> you can't even, you can't see, so you don't know if it's lagging. Or not. <laughs> no, um, uh, but yeah, it's really cool. Obviously, it comes with that free game, the little with the little robots, whatever. The Astro and it Astro shows Astro you, Bot. yeah, Astro's Playroom. Yes, and it shows you what your controller can do, and it's it's pretty cool. The little triggers and like you can even blow into the mic, and it like does things too. Like it's pretty mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so but yeah it's it's really cool it's really fun I, i'm really enjoying it uh i really like the remote as well the controller it's just uh it's it just that's feels I nice i hear that yeah, that's the I, most I like next it. gen feeling thing you could ever put your hands mm-hmm. on the the haptic feedback on yeah on it and everything uh like that they, they talked about the trigger right like the trigger like mm-hmm. giving resistance and stuff how does that feel <laughs> feels great man like it's like a it's it's heavier it's not like the other one where it's just like you just kind of like pressed it it's like it's yeah. definitely like uh not, i guess heavier is the right word but yeah it's it's like really it, cool like and the it, top ones are real clicky it feels I like the top expensive clicky ones. i bet it feels yeah it, feels like it does feel expensive. Are fucking expensive it feels like it's worth 60 dollars. not like the other one i'm like man this is 60 dollars. are pay the controllers just... 60 bucks well i'm sure it's like 70 now i was gonna say i think they're probably 70 by yeah now, they went up to these 10. things yeah i bet yeah but it feels uh, like it's worth it you know yeah it's yeah. not like before i was like cheese like i don't want to spend a whole game price for a remote yeah but that's pretty cool man so you've been playing that little demo some rocket league anything else yeah so yeah spider-man the miles morales spider-man uh now you you know with the PlayStation Plus subscription you get the three free games a month or whatever, yep. and then plus the PS Plus collection which is like nineteen of the hits. Uh, so like Resident Evil, Biohazard's in there, God of War of course. Um, that's not Fallout that's not, Four. That's not PS huh? Now or like. What do you mean? Is that no, part no, of that's the... a that's a separate collection part of your subscription that you can just download any of those games for free. For having a PlayStation Five. Yes. I don't play PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation. Get richer. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, it's, it's like a separate area called the PS Plus co- collection. And you just click it and there's like those 19 games. Oh, Mortal Kombat X and like Fallout 4 even is in there. And you can just choose one. Oh, I'm going to download it. Four seven zero five, And you just part your subscription. You get three free games a month now instead wow. of two. Yeah. Pretty so, good. like Pretty tomorrow good. they're going to they're gonna release Control uh what was it i think um destruction oh, yeah. all-stars yeah, the other one i wanted to try else. uh control yeah. i think is going to be something to really really check out man i heard it was on a lot of game of the year lists the year it came out and everything which i think was 2019 i think yeah um but i think if you own the ultimate edition of that or something that's also going to be good i forgot why for some reason but definitely only ultimate edition of that thing because yeah, you're gonna ultimate. You'll, but if you'll i'm get getting like, it for free i don't want the ultimate i think you're gonna edition. get like free access to some dlc they're gonna be coming out with later or something something like that uh but dude that sounds cool i um it is I cool, get one, it is cool. But i need to upgrade I, the I got lucky. out of my tv yeah how did you <laughs> i got uh, lucky yeah. man you were just so checking. I follow IGN deals and GameStop or a couple other things that tells you like PS5 is on sale now or PS5 is going to be on sale tomorrow at this time at this place right and yeah, I've yeah. done it like every single time since the end of November I've gone on Walmart Best Buy Costco all of them when they're trying to to do it and I can't ever I can never get it right yeah, and yeah. this time I just kept refreshing it and I was like until it says it's sold out I'm going to keep refreshing it and then finally it came out I added it to cart and I got it yeah nice dude nice Nice. Yeah. I got uh, lucky. I'll, I'll get one. I'll probably, I'll probably yeah. start keeping an eye out for one too, man, because I want to upgrade my TV soon and uh, want to get those new consoles eventually. But I, th- that's the first thing. <sighs> my, my TV still 1080. It's uh it's a really really nice Samsung 75 inch um, that I've had since 2017. Uh, but it's oh, wow. definitely time for an upgrade. There's nothing and wrong there, with that. You know, man. There's, it's okay. Well, there's only there's only a handful of TVs that will, will really be able to kind of take advantage of what these consoles are showing you. Um, yeah. So and that's why I'm it, not like super like, oh, I need the next TV. I'm like, I'm okay with waiting a little bit because like it's it's yeah. fine. No, for sure. You know, I'm I not mean, gonna you, you it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And and so the Sony I was looking at was one of the ones that'll um will be able to do that. 
uh, Vizio P series, Samsung 8 series, uh, LG OLEDs are just some of the few that are, are going to be able to do next gen consoles. So um, I've also been keeping an eye at work um, at this Samsung 75 that we have, which uh, I, ah, man, I want it. I like, I've just been looking up reviews for it and stuff. So I'm really, really excited about possibly picking one of those up here pretty soon. Is that um, everything we've uh, been watching and playing, guys? What else have y'all been doing? I haven't seen any movies. Just watched Tech on Titan, Demon yeah. Slayer a little bit, so that's been fun. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how's Demon yeah. Slayer? Demon Slayer. It's pretty good. cool. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, yeah, I liked it. I'm like uh, eight, nine episodes in. Um, Same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, it's it's good, man. Uh, they're gonna release that movie for it pretty soon, and that's supposed to that's like apparently shattering records uh, for like anime OVAs and stuff like that. Like it's it's a big deal apparently. Um, so I I think I don't know if it's next month or March when it's gonna hit U.S. theaters or something like that. Um, but it's it's been a big deal uh, everywhere else so far. Um, so there's a lot a lot of hype coming for that Demon Slayer movie. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely wanting to check that out. Um, so I've been watching that. Um, I've been playing through The Last of Us 2, finally. Oh, uh, you were like, mentioning. Yeah, like a lot more. I'm, I'm definitely barreling towards uh, what I think is maybe the end. I'm about 20, 23, 24 hours in or something like that. Um, if anyone has played it, it's I'm on like uh, Seattle Day 2 for the Abbey stuff or whatever. So uh, definitely making my way there. Uh, hopefully, hopefully finishing maybe this week if time allows. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, Caleb, I know you had finished it and we talked about maybe having a discussion about it at some point. But um, that thing seems super interesting. Uh, like we're going to have a lot to talk about. So at some point, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. For sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I still remember it I don't, vaguely. Well, not vaguely, but I remember the big <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah. There'll be, there'll be stuff. I'll bring it up to you, Caleb. I'll, I'll re- I got it in my head right now. There's a lot of things I want to talk about. I really, yeah, I really hate a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk Same. about it, man. We'll talk about it. Uh, so is, but, that, is that all we've been doing, guys? Uh, I mean, that's I, it. I started uh, Wheel of Time again. But, I, damn it. Why? <laughs> Why? Because What are I you start, doing? I started working at this new job again uh-huh. uh, with the dogs and shit. And my boss is a pretty uh, like fast reader. Yeah. So I was like, yo, check out Wheel of Time. And it was her birthday. So I was like, happy birthday. Here's all the PDFs. <laughs> so she started reading it. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to jump back into it. Cause I oh really miss. I really, I really, really, really miss listening to Wheel of Time. And as I was going through a set, you know, I'm doing a reread. I'm picking up so much more stuff that okay. you know. Yeah, I could see that. I'm noticing that I didn't notice before. Yeah. Like little fucking head nods, and I'm just like, <gasps> like, dude, he had planned this from the beginning, dude. Interesting. That's Pretty cool, good. Man. Nice. That's cool. Pretty nice. Good. So even more hyped up for the fucking show. I hope it comes out soon. I think it's yeah. December of this year that it's supposed to come out. Wow, really? Who That's knows? Soon. It was it delayed a year because it was supposed to come out last year. Oh, interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah. Who, who knows with COVID times? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah. And you guys will have to wait and see. You wait and see. You wait and, and see. You wait. <laughs> On next oh, Tuesday, you you'll wait. wait and see. On next Tuesday, you wait and see. Let's see if I can edit that fast. Jesus. We'll you see if. Uh, better. We'll You're going to have to now. Time, boys. It's not going to make sense. <laughs> if you don't edit it work. by tomorrow, it's not going to make sense. <laughs> not going to make sense. That's make a turbo edit confused. all of this. Turbo. <laughs> it's turbo, turbo man. time. It's so turbo good. time. <laughs> All right, guys, that does it for us. Thanks for tuning in and checking out everything we do. Check out our socials and our uh, show notes in the description to find us out where we're going to be. We're going to also probably start taking emails. So if you got questions you want to send them in, uh, that will be down in the description below. So thanks for checking us out, guys. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.